Okay, my name is Stanislav. So here you can take pictures everywhere except for the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a joke, it's a joke. So you can take pictures here everywhere except for that window, you see? Uh -huh. No pictures through the window. Okay. We have a possibility to move there to take some pictures. No problem. So first of all, yeah, I would like to ask you uh, to be not too noisy because we, are, we have uh, not a lot of time. Mm -hmm. We need to go here, then there, then take some pictures, small information, and you will take a bus, I will go maybe with you up to Kempraedim yeah. Tamin Noshka. Okay, so, accident happened in 1896, you know, in uh, 1996, yes, April, and uh, during a very short period of time it was necessary to construct uh, facility which uh, can cover the um, uh, damaged unit 4. Uh, it was this uh, facility because there were 18 designs and only one design was chosen. It was this one. It was short of uh, implementation, means of time, you know. Mm -hmm. And less than six months up, uh, since uh, June uh, 86 up to the end of November, uh, 90,000 builders have constructed Ooh. this big facility by the, uh, their efforts and naturally by their health, unfortunately. Nevertheless, this facility was constructed. I would like to show you what is here inside because it is open. Oh. 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 Wow, that is good, fantastic. <laughs> wow. So take some pictures. <laughs> so, and uh, you know, uh, all the barriers of safety were destroyed. Everything was destroyed. The task uh, at that time was to test some reactor equipment and to test some turbine equipment. Turbine hole is here. And the reactor equipment are there. According to the approved program, unfortunately, everything was done correctly, unfortunately, because of the uh, defects which were uh, in this type of the reactor, they had such a big uh, damage uh, unit, such a big accident. According to the IAEL International Nuclear Event Scale, this is the highest uh, type of the accident level 7. So, uh, unfortunately, because, you know, it's a paradox when uh, the personnel, uh, they saw the, uh, some problems with the reactor, and the operator pushed the button here, and in this, you can see here is the control room, you visited control room, the same practically control room. He pushed the button to stop the chain reaction, mm -hmm. but uh, the reactor was uh, so the ra run away, so called run away. Mm -hmm. It was uh, the uh, so uh, the, the fuel rods or the safety fuel, uh, fuel rods uh, dropped down, but uh, not all all of them. They, some of them stopped in some position. Such a result, unfortunately. It was investigated by different uh, type of uh, expert commissions, and everybody. Uh, said and wrote in their uh, experts uh, information that uh, the, uh, the main problem, the main uh, reason of this accident is the design of this type of reactor. Another one also is the human factor because the man is the uh, designer of this type of reactor. There were some, uh, so maybe we may say, incorrect, incorrect actions by the personnel, some other uh, mm -hmm. things, but Nevertheless, first of all, this is the big problem. So, after this, at the end of the 90s, the group of experts from different countries, foreign countries, I mean also from Ukraine, uh, decided uh, about and to develop uh, some 
plan some uh, design for the future of this uh, uh, type of the uh, for, for this facility. Why? Because this facility was as the temporary uh, mm -hmm. structure for 30 years. The guarantee for this was 30 years. But during the operation of this facility, during our so monitoring, we saw a little, uh, we saw a lot of a lot of problems with these structures. Uh, some of them were at the stage of so-called of corrosion. There were some problems, mm -hmm. and also another uh, problem that this is temporary facility. Why? Because according to the Ukrainian legislation and all other legislation in other countries, all the radioactive waste should be in the special storage. Mm -hmm. uh, the same is for this uh, so damaged, we may say damaged uh, reactor. There are about 200 tons of different fuel containing materials inside uh, this uh, shelter object, so-called shelter object, or sarcophagus, as they say. And we needed to take it out, to remove, and to transport it to the storage. Mm -hmm. This is the main problem about that plan, which was developed by the experts. And they, uh, this plan was proposed to the G7 countries in 97 for future we may say conversion of this facility into the ecologically safe system. So this plan was approved, and it is called Shelter Implementation Plan, and uh, at the G7 countries it was decided uh, so to call all the countries to help Ukraine with this big the world problem, we may say. And you can see a lot of flags of different countries. These are donor countries which they, they decided to give money to the specially uh, organized uh, Cherno uh, Chernobyl uh, Shelter Fund, which is now in the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. And all money which were given by these countries, you can see the information about these countries and the money, uh, they are allocated in this bank. And all the activities which are on this site, with the help of that money, with the help of these countries and your country also. <laughs> so, so, so that's why, that's why, uh, since uh, 2000, uh, 2000, uh, 2007, uh, after the competition. Uh, after the competition, this consortium was a winner of this competition and he was awarded, and this company was awarded uh, <coughs> uh, to be, to uh, implement and uh, to uh, commission to construct this facility which was uh, designed by the designers and Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant signed contract with this consortium, Novarka. This consortium consists of two uh, French group, two French companies, sorry, Binci Construction and uh, Bouin Travocobli, two companies. They are in this consortium, but they have also some subcontractors in this project from uh, Netherlands, from Germany, from Turkey, from Italy, from Ukraine, naturally. So, and they implement this big uh, project which is called New Safe of the Arch. So, when we say about these uh, facilities, please, this is sarcophagus, you may say, but this is the arch. It's not one and the same thing, you know? So, and they started construction. First of all, they prepared this consortium and their workers prepared the big, big site, because that site was to, uh, with uh, a lot of a lot of buildings which were constructed before the accident. First of all, they need to clean the territory, uh, to prepare it, to concrete, because approximately one uh, eighty thousand square meters of uh, concrete was on that site prepared. And in April two thousand twelve, they started construction of this new confinement, new safe confinement. I will show you for. Four minutes small film about the construction of this facility.
So you can see red boxes with the uh, uh, Mammut company from Netherlands. There are uh, push pull jacks there. With the help of that push pull jacks, they will move this uh, big, big, big facility, heavy facility, to the direction of the sarcophagus. It will be at the end of November.